See, this is the type of stuff that just pisses people off. So Diablo Immortal is currently doing an event. This is a Halloween event. Very seasonal, very cool. Everybody likes Halloween. Everybody wants seasonal events in their mobile game, yada, yada. The problem is this event's asking for a lot of work, and they're not really rewarding you much for doing all this work. So as you can see, they added a trick-or-treat mechanism where, I mean, you collect these, these things every single day, and your friend can either send you one or they can send you something that basically debuffs you. It, it lowers all your stats. I don't understand that one. I guess it's because it's a whole Halloween trick or treat, and this is the trick part. You know, the, your friend could screw you over essentially. But I don't care about none of that. We have to do all of this, and if you go to the shop, the rewards here are just awful. So whenever this event was announced, I was like, "Oh, this is pretty cool. They're giving us a free cosmetic." Uh, uh, you know, Diablo Immortal. They don't really give too much of those. You have to pay for essentially all the cosmetics in Diablo Immortal. And that's still the case because this cosmetic here, as you can see, uh, you could buy one once per day and it, it's cool. It's a helmet. It's a cool cosmetic, very Halloween-y and all of that. But if you look, the duration is only one hour. So this isn't even a permanent cosmetic. This is why I'm so upset over this event because y'all they couldn't even throw us one. They couldn't even throw us one free cosmetic. They're all still you have to pay for. It's just ridiculous. And I'm, I'm looking at the rewards at the top. And the only thing that looks like that's worth getting is this this emote here. Uh, just something that's cool to have. It's a memorabilia for the Halloween event, whatever. And it's a good thing that you, this is one of the first rewards because I don't even know if I'm trying to really grind all this like like for real. Because if you scroll down this list, there really isn't much uh, that's even worth getting. I mean, maybe the Asperian keys, I guess. I mean, kind of. Really not even that important. So just a disappointing Halloween event. This is the type of stuff that's just pushing people away from Diablo Immortal. Undecember has a lot of hype right now. I'm sure a lot of people will quit Diablo Immortal and go to Undecember. So it's just disappointing because I really do like Diablo Immortal. Admittedly, the game is getting kind of boring. I just switched to Barbarian, and it's kind of breathing a little bit of life back into the game. And I also wanted to talk about this since we're on the subject. So they added some more stuff in the shop. You go to limited time and this is Des Bargain. So check this out. Each item in Des Bargain has limited charges. All right. When all charges are depleted for a specific item, one buyer will receive a full refund of the eternal orbs used to purchase the item. If multiple purchases of SIG item were made, only one selected will be refunded. But the thing about it is you have a very small percent chance of even getting your, your money refunded. So like say I put some money into the game, I buy this cosmetic and the event ends. I only have like a 5% chance of getting refunded for this cosmetic. Which is hilarious because it would be the only free cosmetic that Diablo Immortal ever offered. But the thing about it is not many people are going to get refunded. So essentially everybody's putting their money into these, these items in the shop. And, won't, and most of them won't even be getting refunded. So this is gambling and this is very, very bad, y'all. Like this is uh give give us your money and you have a chance to win it back this is like the worst of the worst of gambling and and this isn't even oh everybody put your money into a pool winner takes all it's not even none of that you may get your money back and most likely you won't so disappointing times in diablo immortal hopefully they can get this together and correct all this this foolery they've been doing because like i said a lot of people are leaving the game and it's just not looking good at this point if they continue down this path i don't know how much longer this game is going to last and I don't even know if I could really say that because people are still just throwing their money at them. So who knows? But very disappointing. This is a horrible day for Diablo Immortal. Hopefully they do better from now on. I just wanted to make this video to shed some light on this. I really hope y'all enjoyed it. Please drop a like if you do and subscribe for more. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate y'all. I'm out.